afternoon, this is Jim Leahy with news and announcements for Stad St. John and Maxville, Kansas on Cable Channel 3 and on SandylandCenter.org, our website. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, it's Wednesday, the 4th of February, <coughs> and it's 25 degrees at noon here in the square. And today is going to be cold and windy, and the high is 28, and it's 14 for the low tonight. <clears throat> and then we have several days that are much better. Uh, Thursday, partly cloudy, and 44 the high, 29 the low. Friday, sunny, and 65 the high. Saturday, sunny, and 72 the high. And then uh, Sunday, Saturday, and 68 the high, Monday, sunny, and 60 the high. So if we can get by today, we're going to be in good shape for the next five days after that. <clears throat> Happy birthday today to Lou Ann Fisher and Dorothy Bliss. We hope you have a great birthdays, and these are the only ones that we have to announce. <coughs> then... Uh, at, uh, on the February 16th, which is a Monday at 2 o'clock, there's a Valentine tea at the Sunflower Senior Center. And they're going to play Valentine bingo and have tea and cookies. <clears throat> then on uh, Thursday the 12th, they're going to Link's Place in Cunningham. And uh, they're going there for lunch. And they're also going to perhaps make a stop at one of the stores in Pratt, I believe. Anyway, they're going to leave at 10.30 and be back at 3 and 7 uh, is seven dollars is the transportation fee. Then on February 20th, it says celebrate early President's Day. And there's a woman's fair in Kansas at the Century 2 at Wichita. They're going to leave at 9 and stop at the Dutch Kitchen for coffee on the way. The fair opens at 12 noon and they're going to leave the fair at 4.30 and come back after that. And the fee is $15 for the fair <coughs> fee and the travel. And you have to pay for your own coffee, I believe, at the uh, carriage kitchen. Now, we have our menus for the folks at Fellowship Meals here in St. John and in Kansas. Today we'll start with the one in St. John. And they're having turkey and dressing with turkey gravy and sweet potatoes today. Tomorrow, vegetable soup. Uh, and a cracker packet and chicken salad sandwich. And on Friday, herb baked chicken, baked potato, and cooked cabbage. While over in Maxville at the VIP Center, uh, they're having baked fish filet today and Brussels sprouts. Uh, tomorrow, they're having spaghetti with meat sauce and green beans. And on Friday, they're having ham and beans and marinated tomato with steamed cabbage. So, real healthy food and good food. <coughs> uh, stay tuned for a message about God's story that follows uh, this. Uh, and uh, the word of the day is this. <clears throat> While money isn't everything, it sure helps keep you in touch with your children. This is Jim Lakey, hoping you have a really great day today and survive the cold. This is your story. This is your story. This is your story. This is my story. This is my story. This is my story. But most of all, this is the greatest story ever told. This is God's story. This is God's story. This is God's story. I know you're going to enjoy the incredible journey you're about to embark on. The story is brimming over with tales of mystery, intrigue, adventure, of love, heartbreak, and triumph, of power, of struggle, 
and finally of redemption. But remember, the Bible is not a hundred ancient, unrelated paintings, but a mural all knitted together to tell the story of God's great love for us and the extent to which He will go to get us back. I know you're really going to enjoy and appreciate this wonderful experience as you fully explore how we all fit into the greatest story ever told, God's story. This is God's story. This is God's story. This is God's story. I'm Ray Davidson, pastor of First Southern Baptist Church here in St. John on the corner of Second and Exchange. We would like to invite you to come and join with us as we look at God's story, the story of God's interaction with man. We'll begin on September the 7th at 9.30 a.m. with a 9.30 a.m. with a worship service followed by at 10.30 with Sunday school. This is a study for everyone in the family. All of the children, young people, adults will be studying the same lesson so that we can talk about it at home as we go through the week. We invite you again to come and join us on this 31-week study of God's story and man's story.